Well, hello there, everyone. I'm your host, Get Good Fox. Welcome back to State of DK2 in the Beta Lethal Zone. Today, we are going to continue our building materials crusade, and I guess also our money crusade, because we don't have a lot of money. You know, we've got enough to kind of wiggle around if there's, like, you know, an important thing here and there, but for the most part, we're not doing too good on money. So I want to loot a few of these little knick-knack locations, as well as continue the personal quest for the Brother in Blue, mainly because it's a quest, it pays, you know, I need the money. I also haven't done it in a while. You know, um, maybe it's, a, maybe it'll turn out to be good. I, I, I don't think so. I don't, I, I don't have memory of it being especially good, but who knows? Maybe my memory just stinks. Oh, look at all these jerks. Wow. While we're uh, cooking those guys, let's go ahead and look for this. Oh, I'll go ahead and fast search since they were already on me. Hey, that wasn't bad. Oh, I didn't want to climb up. It still works, though. Demand for food. Yeah, I about to say, I don't think I have a skill. Man, that's, um... You zombies sure are not, you know, like, right off the bat. You guys want to chill out a little bit? The answer's obviously no. The zombies have zero chill on Lethal Zone. That's fine, though. I got what I'm looking for. Be careful. This one isn't a game. Okay, so that comment implies that this one could be dangerous. I guess we'll see. I mean, it's right next to an allied enclave. Okay. Interesting. I can't remember if we even need um, ammo, to be completely honest. Let me check. Um, I think 25. 35 is our cap. Yeah. So where do we... Okay. I guess we need to search over there. That's fine. Yeah, you know, to be honest, I rarely do these little personal quests, and often, and if I do them, I often don't do them to completion. I'll, oft, I'll often just temporarily do them just for the money, and then once they start getting on my nerves, I just never finish them. Who knows, though? May, maybe it's something I'm sleeping on. Maybe I've overlooked the value of some of these. Oh, here we go. Let's keep doing this. Now, we should have enough parts in order to actually activate the forge again, which is going to let us build more materials. Hey, anyone! I need help right fucking now! I'm almost there! Yeah, we got 543, so let's go ahead and get this going. Here's another batch. This is going to be our second batch, if I remember right. You're okay. I'll get you back safe. You're the boss. Let's just burn them. But yeah, this will be our second batch of um, of material, so that's going to be a. But I couldn't leave as long as you might be alive. Tax situation's better up here too. Fucking seas will be here soon. So I'm guessing that the story of the brother is that like I don't think he's I don't think that's her biological brother. I think that's like a stepbrother or a half -bro brother in law or something like that. I couldn't remember the, like the complete story, you know, because I'm, I'm not really looking for like the story beats in State of Decay 2 in these like personal quests, but I think that's what the story is. I mean, I guess we'll see. Is he going to be a good survivor? I mean, if he's a good survivor, then yeah, I guess it could be worth doing. But yeah, so that's going to be our second batch of materials that are going to be made by the Forge. And that's going to be handy because it's going to bring us up to 16 materials just from the forge. And uh, because we found all those scraps, like, we should have access to fairly reliable parts. Because we need 480 parts to make more. 
Yeah, we'll let him join. Let's see what his stats are. Dude, you won't regret this. How much money do I get? You taught me that. You're not. I know you're not getting me twenty-eight. That juggernaut is five fifty. Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's that puts us back in business. Hold up now. <laughs> that means I can actually do this earlier. Uh, let's do parts trader. Definitely want that. Someone's at the base looking to trade. Um, it's very important that the parts trader doesn't get eaten. So let me drive away from the base so that he doesn't get eaten. It happens. You play on like nightmare zone, prob probably even dread zone. And if you do, and if you um, if you just let the trader come to your base, you, you never know. It just run into like three ferals and get eaten. It can happen. So what we're gonna do is get away from the base. But I'm gonna, I'm just gonna drive past them. And if I drive past them, then the game won't uh, the game like I said the game won't simulate combat. What I can do, is, uh, in fact, we'll just drive over to our ally over here, see how they're doing. I keep catching a glimpse of those lootable buildings right there. And here's the police car. Uh, you know what? Let's check that. Um, let's check the trunk of this. Okay, fuel. We actually needed fuel too. The car is running low. Now the reason we need the parts trader is because we need to buy another salvage furnace. Because the salvage furnaces will stack up, and if they stack up, then we can get more parts from salvaging our weapons and stuff. And if we get more parts from salvaging weapons and stuff, we can use the uh, nice to see you. the forge more. Okay, so you guys don't have really anything I want. I mean, I wasn't expecting anything. But I was like, you know what? They, uh, we'll, we'll visit. It's, it's really not that big of a deal to protect the, what do you call it, the trader. Okay, back home. Then we'll get the salvage furnace. And then what we can do is install the salvage furnace in the, the forge. So that means we'll have one in the forge and one in the workshop. So that'll give us two bonuses towards uh, scrapping stuff and that's gonna that that'll definitely pay itself off I, I it's like this little winding trail is such a pain it's like I never I never drive up it correctly because it's just like why, why would I want I, I just don't want to do that okay let's go trade Let's see what we have here. Okay, here's the salvage furnace. A little expensive. That's quite a load I'm carrying. But that's okay. That's that's the price we pay to make this plan work. And um, okay, we'll let that. Oh, oh man, I just noticed that we have in, uh, infestations. Nice Let's scout. Let me see if there's anything I want to sell. I, I do want to sell that. I'll sell these. I'll sell these. And these. And uh, the rest of that stuff I'm probably going to scrap. Because like I said, we need the parts. How about we see what we've got? So we're going to get... Um, we get 17 influence per pipe bomb. We get 17 influence per flashbang. Which, that, that's okay. We get 9 influence per seed. We had 3 of them. And 17 influence for the duty roster. You know what? Well, it doesn't matter. We, it's like, it's a win-win. We clear out our junk. And where is the infestation at? Uh, honestly, not that far away. Not that far away, actually. Let's swap this out for something else. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it just created another horde, so we need to get cranking on that. We'll reload. And then we can just throw this away. Alrighty. Now we're going to need a lot of fuel. Not just because we're driving, but using the forge also eats up fuel. So that's another thing right there. So let's keep scrapping parts. No, not the blood mobile. I need the impaler. Also, we probably need to repair the impaler. Yep, I see steam coming out of it. 
all of those broken weapon remains we found, that's, that's a pretty big deal. Okay, so we just got another batch of eight parts. So what we can do now is install the salvage furnace here, and I we can probably upgrade something. Let's do it. There we go. So uh, someone asked, like, you know, like, why would I want to use a forge? The answer for why you would want to use a forge is because the trade depot has been nerfed. And previously, the trade depot was the main way that you would finish your base on lethal zone because the map is 50% looted and because it's 50% looted there aren't as many building materials so you could wind up looting all or most of the building materials and there'd only be a few locations left but your base wouldn't be done and you'd be kind of at the point where you're like scraping the bottom of the barrel like you know you're locating materials you're doing stuff like that and um this was just one of the ways that was, uh, you know, that was just the way you would do it. You would use the material call-ins, you would use the material trader, but now that the trade depot has been nerfed, it's like, we need another way to get materials, and although, sure, it's expensive to do it this way, and people might say, well, this doesn't seem very efficient. It just depends on uh, what you are saying is efficient or inefficient, because to basically call in the trader to call in their traders once and once every two hours etc that is it might be efficient in terms of the money but it's not efficient in terms of time so you're basically like yes you're saving resources but you're losing you're, you're not saving time it's taking a lot longer and what I care about is time because remember this is not a forever community I'm gonna be getting rid of this community when it's done so I mean what am I gonna do with all of the excess resources the answer is nothing so what I want is I want to build my base sooner rather than later and at the end of the day I, I've already done it this method before and at the end of the day I'm still gonna have plenty of materials like I'm gonna have plenty of parts and materials using this method and I won't I you know basically we'll be able to finish the base and we'll be able to we'll base basically we'll be able to have everything we want with this method and the other way I see it is you know there's always going to be more resources so you know even if I was running out you know like you can kill more play guards and you can you know the play guards are full of weapons and you can just scrap the weapons and then you'll have more parts you know, you can always get more stuff to scrap, and therefore you can just finish the base, and finishing the base sooner rather than later is pretty nice. So that's the reason we're going to do it this way. And, uh, in fact, that's almost done, so what we want to do is we actually want to make it back home. I kind of want to uh, set this up as an outpost, too, because I don't like how those outposts are kind of side by side. So let me go ahead and abandon this one. And I'm just going to move it here just because this area is clear, and I, I like to have them spaced out. So let's go ahead and, and also, yes, it's really close to the base, sure, but the thing is, who cares? Like, I won't be living here forever, right? Eventually, I'm going to move away, and so that means this area will... Oh, looks like I got zombies again. Okay. Thought that might have been worse. Okay, so now we have this. And, oh, we got a screamer. Good. Okay. So now what we're going to do, we've got a we got a salvage furnace in here. You can see it right there. It says um, salvage furnace, bonus parts from salvage, and then we have one here. Bonus parts from salvage. So now we're getting multiple bonuses, so we can just scrap these. We're gonna get 34. Uh, we're gonna get 34 parts for scrapping these backpacks, and also we can keep scrapping. Okay, that's that's fine. And let me see. We're just gonna scrap all of the things that kind of stink, the things that's that we don't need. Better. Like these are worth 70 each. 70, 70. Uh, I'll, I'll hang on to the grillmeister. 60, 60. I do like machetes. World War Bayonet, it's actually worth a little more. Its cell value is 85, but now we've pumped it up to 90. So I'm actually going to scrap it. Uh, Deck Destroyer, 80. Freedom Ringer can stay. The Mace is worth 90. 
I like baseball bats. Night stick is 70. Pipe is 70. Police baton, 70. Rebar, 60. Uh, wooden bats, um, we'll get rid of, we got metal bats. So wooden bat is, uh, that one was damaged. So 70 for the wooden bat. 61, that one was damaged. Big shovel, 100. Big shovel, 100. Drive shaft club, we don't, we, we have, um, we've got a sledgehammer. And splitting maul, 100. And over here, I could scrap these as well. Um, I think we're doing okay, though. Let's go over here and start scrapping some guns. This will get, Let's get rid of all these damaged weapons. We're never going to use these. Um, scrapping them. Um, we don't want any of these revolvers. 80 on the revolver. The shotgun stinks, so 80 on the shotgun. 80 for that shotgun. Don't worry about scrapping them with the ammo inside. It pulls the ammo out. Like right here, you can see this shoots 5.56. Five, we got 155. Watch, watch. I'm going to scrap it, and you're going to see it go right up. Went up to 65, so don't worry. You can scrap it with the ammo inside. We don't want this. 100 for this sniper rifle. We will keep the uh, We will keep the Soviet PPSH. Not bad for uh, guarding. I'm pretty sure the suppressor is going to show up, too. Let's go see. Yep, there's a suppressor right there. Uh, 90 for the crossbow. 90 for the crossbow. 120 for the hunting crossbow. We also don't need the star shank. 120 for that. So look at that. We are up to 3,200. Uh, so, I mean, why not? Why why wouldn't we just start the four? Why wouldn't we just get the forge up and running? We're scrapping even more over here. I'm going to leave a few guns, you know, just in case we need to trade guns or something. But yeah, it's like why? Why would? Why would? Why even be? Why would we be worried about? We've got over three thousand parts, and there's still a lot of play guards to squish. You know, well, what's what's even the big deal? Like, why? Why even be concerned with it? That's that's the way I see it. Why not just throw all of these extra parts at building materials? Because here's the thing: you might argue that hey, okay, but wouldn't it be better to buy them because it's cheaper? Yeah, only if we can find people to sell them to us. Remember, like, yeah, we, we could buy them from our allies, but only if our allies are selling them. You know, our allies, they are, they're not guaranteed to sell them to us. And the thing is, we have other ways to earn money as well. Like, we could still do that. Like, it's, it, it's not very common that I'm not able to f afford the building materials that they're selling. Let me see if he's following me. Doesn't look like it. But that's the reason we're gonna do it, because like I said, as you can see, we've got plenty of parts. We don't we don't need more than this. Like we've we're gonna have, we have plenty of parts for repairs, we have plenty of parts for uh, building things, plenty of parts to do whatever we need. And like I said, there's still more play guards, and the more play guards we destroy, the more weapons we can get to scrap. So it's gonna be fine. Like, it's not, like, if you're worried about, like, this seems inefficient in terms of, like, making money, etc., it's really not. It, it's gonna be fine. Uh, let's switch to a character that needs some um, standing. Uh, what are you? Morale? What are your stats? Oh, look at, look at George over here. George Hurtado. Actually, like, halfway decent stats. Let's get him equipped, and we'll send him out to go grab some gear. This is the tray. Where is the... So the storage is in one of these. I think it's in this house right here. So we need food. And then we've got to... And like I said, you know, we're, we're going to take out hostile humans here and there. Remember, we could just scrap all of their stuff. Um, it's going to be fine. Let's get the launcher out. Give me a cure. Let's make one more cure. I like to have like a spare hanging around. Right over here. And um, I think the vehicle is in okay. We need to refuel before we go. Hopefully we're not cutting it too close on our time. I don't think we are though. I think we, I think we should be okay. Let's go ahead and add some more fuel in. The other thing is once we have our materials all built, 
Well, it'll be. It's also going to be fine from the perspective that we'll be done. We won't need to build any more materials once we have like a really nicely designed base. So, it, so it's not like it's like uh, we're just constantly going to be losing parts left and right for like the rest of the game. We're just trying to get the base finished up, and all of those parts they're just going to transfer right on over to the next area. And at the end of the day, even with us using the, the forge, we're going to finish the base faster, and we'll still have, we'll still have you know, plenty of resources left over. This is just going to be a way to do it even quicker. Now, I would not do it this way if not for the fact that the trade depot got nerfed. Like, this, is like, this is basically an adaptation to the trade depot nerf. Apparently, Undead Labs is considering the idea of making the forge a little better, probably in the form of making it more economical. I think that's one of the problems Undead Labs has had, is that they just kind of, like, bump the numbers of everything up across the board, make everything more expensive. And, I, you know, I, I don't think they consider the idea that maybe you get priced out of certain things. And I feel like that's one of the issues there. Like, people don't want to use the forge because they're like, man, I'm getting really priced out. On a lower difficulty, you wouldn't really use the forge because you didn't really have a need for it. There were plenty of building materials. Uh, Lethal Zone is really the I first the difficulty. Maybe a little bit in Nightmare Zone as well, but Lethal Zone for sure is really the first difficulty where you're going to struggle with uh, materials. Nice to see you're still kicking. I got a feeling you and me can do business. So they're selling food here. Yeah, we'll t how much money do I got? I'll take some food. That's fine. Throw it in here. Let's grab the rest of the food they're selling. So what are our food losses? Yeah, we're barely, we're actually gaining food per day, so. Any of the food we get is uh, nearly a permanent resource. Let's go over here, looks like we found some materials and fuel. That's something we need. So let me also look for fuel. I say we call around to find a good scavenging spot. I've got people working on your request right now. I just hope it's not somewhere really far away, as the game often likes to do. Let me get that screamer. Okay, never mind. He's on the other side of that fence. Oh, somebody, something broke because our materials were low. Uh, that, that'll change in any moment. So what happened there is that we didn't have enough um, materials to pay for our upkeep. Not a big deal, though. Let's just fast search here. Oh, we got some pretty good stuff. There we go. Let's keep building more. So unfortunately, we did not find the um, fuel. Honestly, not that far away. That's fine. We did get some stuff to sell, so let's just pass by our allies real quick. Better finish that one off. Good. All right, we'll sell this. You know, not worry. Oh, actually, we got some seeds, too. Yeah, we can do that. Not a big deal. Let's throw this in the back. And then the fuel isn't that far away, so we can just go on over there. Also, let's... We might as well call more allies in. Let me make... Let's, let's see if we're at the ally cap or not. Is this thing even fucking on? Am I talking to myself here? You might be. Hello? Hello? Oh no, we still have more allies, good. Where are the occupants? Indeed. Still need more money, but like like I said, we, we've got enough money to kind of wiggle around and do a few things here and there. But we also haven't really sat down and looted a few of these areas for resources. 
I mean, we have looted certain areas, but we need All to right. do more. I'd say these defenses are as good as they can get. Let's hope we don't have to test them soon. Bear, that is pretty good. I don't think we're going to need a whole lot more in the way of chemicals, so we can start selling them. And chemicals, they sell pretty decently. Get off my car, thank you. This has got to be where it is. Five out of six lootables. Smell the rotten fuckers. Wow. That was a lot of hits to get on a simple knockdown. Okay, let's look for wherever the fuel could be. Looks like it's not outside by the pumps. Let's check indoors. There it is. Bingo. All right, cause like I said, we're gonna need fuel. Both for the vehicle and the fact that we need fuel for, um... That, and then I'll, on top of that we can just use our outpost right here. We could probably do a little bit of looting here as well. I like the idea of that anyways. Everything we don't need, we'll just sell it off. Oh, what's this? He's a pacifist feral. Peace was never an option for us. I was very slowly... There we go. Also, the standing's nice. So his hero bonus is... Oh, God, that one's awful. Maximum medical storage. Wow, way to, like... I mean, way to be a decent character and then just, like, pfft, get a crap hero bonus. Okay, let's throw this stuff in... I guess I'll refuel. That'll also clean up one inventory. Okay, looking good. Let's see. Uh, let's try to not loot something that has a rucksack in it. I mean, does it? We can hold one more rucksack on our back. But some of these houses, you know, maybe we'll get something good out of them. Get some luxury items to sell. Zombies near the front door. Let's check the back door. Sounds like someone's in here. And he's gonna scream. I was hoping we could do it quietly, but that's just not going to happen, apparently. There is a lot of zombies in here. Look at this. Look at all these zombies just snoozing. Okay, we're just gonna fast loot since we've got like a lot of jerk. Oh good, we just found something good. Yeah, trying to loot while there's burning zombies chasing you, making it a little bit harder. Let me turn my light off. Wait, search, I saw it pop up. Okay, road flare and seeds, we can sell those. Don't know where the last item is. Could be outside. Nope, it's somewhere inside. Or I just wasn't looking very well. Oh, I see it right there. Oh my god, my inventory is already full. Man, that stinks. <laughs> this weapon is so bad. Okay, um... Well, it's just a road... I'm pretty sure it was just a road flare. It's really not that big a deal. What do these guys want? Pest removal. Sign me up. Thank you. Actually, I don't think we have time for that. 
Yeah, you know what we can do? We can just start well, we can just start off here next episode. Next episode, I think I'm actually gonna review the base. Actually, also, uh, we need to think about saving up because we're gonna be ready to move into the next area. Actually, you know what? I wanna drop off our cargo. I'll see you back at base. And we're home. Time to drop off the cargo. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, pl please don't bother me. I'm just trying to drop my cargo off. You could be zombies in the next episode. Right now, I'm just trying to get some things done. So there we go. Let's see his stats again. Um, he's a mez he's hardy. That's the big thing. 30% less injury severity and 10 health. Okay, Anna's brother. So his last name is Hurtado. What's his what's her last name? Oh, okay. I guess they're all from the say that Hurtado family. Interesting. Anyways, there we go. Yes. Look at that. We're up to 21 materials again. And we're going to have more, because we're just going to keep building more of these. And yes, it's going to eat up our parts, but like I said, there's plenty of parts to obtain, especially if you stack up some bonuses. And we're all, we're all, we're doing really good in terms of upgrading our base. There's still a lot to do. Um, these can be upgraded, but yeah. Stay tuned for the review of the Cabin Park Motel. Anyways, let me know what you think down in the comment section. Like the video feels entertaining. Subscribe for future State of K2 content. Of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good.